Hello, and today we're back with kind of an unveiling video. So I have been looking at this Bible for a long time. Well, a long time, but also kind of recent. I saw this recently on Amazon. It's by Zondervan, and it's called the Jesus Bible. And I was just, you know, like, looking at Bibles recently. I do have the Spirit-Led Woman Bible, which I love very, very much. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I also wanted to get something else because that one is the modern English version. And I've been hearing more about ESV and the NASB lately. Especially after, like, just going through a discipleship program with Lighty Lightner. Which was great. I'm learning so much. But um, this Bible caught my eye. Because. So I was looking at pink Bibles. <laughs> first of all. Um, because I love pink. And this design just really caught my eye. Out of all of them. I was also looking at something called the ESV. Reformation Study Bible I believe. But I am a bit more familiar with Zondervan. So here it is. I got this from Amazon and it kind of came a little jacked up. But the book inside is fine. So I would give that a pass. But yeah. This is the outside. And I have... You'll probably see a towel down in the background right now because I re-dyed my hair and I don't want it to get on my bed. <laughs> so that's where we're at right now. It says 66 books, one story, all about one name. Encounter the living Jesus in all of scripture from the Passion Movement, the Jesus Bible. ESV edition, lifts Jesus up as the lead story of the Bible. Profound yet accessible study futures help you meet Jesus throughout scripture. See him in every book so that you may know him more intimately, love him more passionately, and walk with him more faithfully. Here are some more details. A beautiful special edition featuring cover art designed by Joshua Noom. Room for notes and journaling, which is great. Concordance, two satin ribbon markers. 8.7 font size, and you can kind of see what it is in the back. And this is light peach floral, and it retails for 75 bucks. Wow. Okay, so, well, it's on sale on Amazon right now. I guess I should mention that. I got this for $40, mainly because I had an $8 coupon, because I believe it was 44 and change. But then I think tax was like three bucks and change. So almost four dollars. So I had a coupon from the S'more app. And I used it for sure. Because why was I going to wait? But yeah. So the design caught my eye. This is kind of what it looks like. You can see. Let's open it. I actually kind of read reviews online. And, um, <laughs> I feel like it's just, they were just like, it's about Jesus. Oh, like, they were really good about incorporating it. And that was mainly the review that I saw. And there weren't actually that many on them. So there were a couple of views and they were like, it's mainly about Jesus. So I was like, all right. <laughs> I guess I'm only going to know right when I'm specifically looking through it. But anyway, here is the front cover. I really like this because just like look it includes like the cross the blood right here the thorns chains breaking I just thought it was like, you know, it was so nice to see this. Like, because it's highly symbolic. It's not just a picture, you know? It's not just for decoration. But yeah.
Alrighty, and the inside it is kind of pink. And boom, the Jesus Bible is on their van. And I believe editing, it was editing done by, I know passion has something to do with this. I forgot what. As you can tell, I don't know much. <laughs> but yeah, here's the preface. Contributors. It says, Welcome to the story of God. So it gives you an overview. Welcome, revolt people forever. And then finally, the Old Testament. So Jesus, our glorious creator, Genesis. So it says, Genesis, creation unknown. Abram goes to Canaan. Jacob and his family go to Egypt. So the book of beginnings starts with the most significant words of all time. In the beginning, God, with these words, the story of God's grand and glorious plan for humanity commences. Okay, so it kind of just gives you like an overall synopsis. So it's like the opening of the Bible is about God's created design. Oh, it mentions the stories of Abram, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph being in here and trace the story of God's grace toward his chosen people. Where we're looking about how God promised to send one who would defeat Satan and sin forever. So, a record of God's dealings with humanity. So, this is basically like an introduction and kind of just explaining what it's about. And then here you finally get into some scripture. So let's see, what is this? Made in God's image, human beings are uniquely created in the image of God. When the rest of creation was being birthed, it was good. God created the birds, fish, plants, and stars to display splendor, and oh, how amazing they are. God said these creations were good. However, when it came to humans, the tone changed. He continued on page six. Where is page six? Oh, okay. Oh, over here. Alrighty, so that the creation of humans was very good. Oh, so it's giving us reasons. So humans are special because we're created in this image. They're created for a unique purpose. Humans are designed to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with Jesus. Well, with God through Jesus, powered by the Holy Spirit. As a right of being created in the image of their creator. Alrighty. Like I said, this is very new. This is very different for me. This is kind of like my first look through. So I don't really know what to expect. Trading truth for lies, God's mercy and grace. Oh, the revolt. Okay, it says the revolt top. Adam and Eve and their fall from grace. Well, fall from grace. Should I say that terminology? I don't think that's quite the right term, actually. Because it's like, yes, they fell from... Sin, but it's like they were still given grace and mercy, right? Because God... Well, he's still chasing after everybody today, right? I feel like the Bible is just a big love story. But it's also mixed with, you know, of course, you're action, your adventure. How 
how he's faithful, you know, how much he's given us mercy and grace. Yeah, because we know that the Lord sent Jesus, his one and only begotten son for us too, because people could not do it back then in the Old Testament. They were having to do like sacrifices because no one could measure up. Even today, people can't measure up like we're freed from that and we don't have to do that, right? We don't have to do sacrifices because when the Lord, when Jesus died on the cross, he just bore everything. And yeah, we are still in Genesis. Wow. So this book is pretty thick, too. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, is it kind of sparkly? That's pretty. And I see the satin ribbons from here. One looks like it's white and one looks like it's pink. God provides with the Passover and mighty works of God at the forefront of their minds. Moses led the nation of Israel across a body of water. Mmm, yeah. And the people had to trust God for provision. Water from the rock, the people, the rock. Okay. <laughs> it's just like, um, making those words bigger. I thought it was like going down a list. I'm also really tired right now. <laughs> it's like, I think it's 3 a.m. in the morning. So I'm trying, I'm trying to, you know, just do this the best I can, trying to read. <laughs> oh, it's so late. Leviticus. Oh, it goes over the feast. I like how it, like, lists these out. So the Day of Atonement. If I'm not mistaken, a lot of these are, I think, back-to-back -back in October, aren't they? Hmm. So, Pentecost, Rosh, Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Tabernacles. The Feast of First Fruits, the Feast of Weeks, the Feast of Trumpets, the Day of Atonement, the Feast of Booths, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and the Passover. This is nice. I like how it kind of just like lines everything up for you know and list it. Yeah. I feel like this will definitely be good and there is definitely a lot of room. For notes and journaling, so that's good. The fire from the Lord. I can't not say that I won't enjoy this. It looks like I will enjoy this. Um, I will still be sticking to the Spirit-Filled Bible, because I really love that one. I would like to get, actually, another Spirit-Filled Bible and kind of check it out. Um, I believe it's by... Someone named Jay, last name is maybe Hayford, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. I could be super wrong, though. But I wanted to check that one out, though, since I enjoy the Spirit-Led Bible that I have now so much. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look with me. It it was kind of a surprise for me, too. Um, and maybe I'll do, like, an update the more I read this. But for now, it kind of just seems self-explanatory, you know? They have articles. Ooh, and really sparkly pages. Okay, I'm kind of distracted. Because <laughs> it's late, and it's sparkly, and it's pretty to look at. 
But yeah. Have a good night. Or a good day wherever you are. And thanks for watching.